For generations, Ardco Equipment has been providing Acadiana with the finest off-road equipment in all the Gulf Coast. Remember, when the only road is no road, it's Ardco Equipment. Raymond Parks the third year, host of RP Green Company on 1037 Game with your day three SEC Media Days recap. Well, as you can see, the area right here besides the escalators is now empty. That was not the case earlier today because today, day three, was Bama Day. And this whole area was jam-packed with World Top fans. And they made their presence be known starting at six, more so at seven, eight, nine, and throughout the day. It, there was two gentlemen dressed up as Bear Bryant. One that I would describe was dressed up as Bear Bryant from 1968-69, and another one was dressed as the Bear from like 1977 to 8. Okay, uh, so much so that people were taking their pictures with the men dressed up like Bear Bryant. Okay, and there was several other people that were uh, representing uh, the Crimson Tide. Uh, Besides those theatrics, the day we had four schools. Alabama led things off. Interesting things there. Saban said that he felt that his team, in hindsight, might have been distracted last year after the LSU game. He viewed the LSU game as a, a, a turning point for, this, for his team in a bad way. He felt that some guys, players, but also coaches, because they lost so many coaches that went to take other jobs elsewhere, that he felt that some coaches had one foot out the door, and some players had one foot out the door worrying about the NFL. So that was a, a, a bit of candor from Nick Saban. Uh, it just wasn't about Bama today, even though today is unofficially Bama Day here at SEC Media Days. Three other teams also took the stage. Arkansas had to follow Alabama. Chad Morris, second year, coming off of his first year there in Fayetteville, where he only won two games, went winless at conference play. He was very honest, which was nice. He talked about how they just didn't have the depth nor the talent, the big hosses across the line of scrimmage, and that that's something that you're going to need to win in the SEC. And he said that he's hopeful that they can do that and have been able to do that with recruiting. Um, he was the, that was the last team in the morning session, afternoon session, Mississippi State, South Carolina. Now, Mississippi State, they had one of the best defenses in the country last year. Had three or four guys go in the first round of the NFL draft. They have huge question marks. They lose seven starters off the defense, including the entire front four. And Joe Moorhead, Moorhead the second-year head coach, former Penn State coordinator, talked about that, talked about how there's plenty of open competition heading into fall camp. Another replacement, but it's on the other side of the ball for the Bulldogs, is who's going to be the quarterback. Nick Fitzgerald graduated. He was their dual threat quarterback, or let's be honest, he was more of a running quarterback, as we know from last year's game against LSU. The leading candidate for that is Tommy Stevens, a grad transfer from Penn State, where Moorhead has already coached and already has a familiarity with him. So that was some of the things that were revealed uh, today in that session. And then things finished off with South Carolina. Will Muschamp is there. They surprised some folks last year. They could be another surprise team. They could be a spoiler team this year based on what their schedule is. They could, they could, they could do some damage in the race to the SEC Championship for Georgia, for Florida, and others. Uh, the big moment from Will Muschamp's day, though, is when you know someone talked about him being the little brother to Clemson. As you can expect, uh, the Saban disciple, Will Muschamp, did not take too kindly to that. Tomorrow, we'll wrap things up. Day four of four here in Hoover at the Hyatt Regency Hotel. Kentucky, Vanderbilt, and Auburn will all be taking the stage to wrap up SEC Media Days here. You can read all about this at 1037thegame.com, and you can make sure to tune in tomorrow morning, Thursday, 6 to 9, for RP3 and Company, as we'll be talking all about SEC Media Days and so much more. Talk to you then.